Hello everyone, this is Obsessive, creator and architect of the Zim line of precision mouse and keyboard adapters for consoles. On behalf of Orbital and myself, we are very excited to give you this first look into the development of our next-gen Zim for next-gen consoles, Zim 4. Over the past years, Zim quickly became the standard for precision mouse play on consoles. Featuring patented mouse translation technology, Zim produces one-to-one -one accuracy between the gamer and the game. Jittery aiming at a reticule that feels off and pulls is typical for adapters of this kind, but not with Zim. Zim features patented mouse translation technology that gives you the highest quality aiming accuracy possible, yet it's simple to configure and use. Zim supports your favorite wired or wireless gaming mice, keyboards, and game pads for both desktop and living room play. No matter your gaming preference, Zim has you covered. Like its predecessors, Zim 3 and Zim Edge, Zim 4 continues to innovate and push the technology forward. Zim 4 features a new way to configure your device wirelessly using a smartphone or computer. It never requires you to have a constant wired connection to a PC to configure your Zim. Let's see how that works. Here we have a pre-production Zim 4 development system. It currently has several extra pieces of hardware plugged into it for development purposes only. It also has a mouse, keyboard, and Xbox One controller plugged in. Zim 4 will now be plugged into the Xbox One. Like the Zim Edge, Zim 4 has a multicolor status light. It's showing the power on sequence. Now that Zim 4 is connected to Xbox One, you can see the controller is fully functional. In fact, Zim 4 even supports your existing wired headsets through the controller. No need to buy extra hardware to chat with your friends. Let's start up Call of Duty Ghosts and hop into a game. Every shooter you play has a different aiming system, so Zim 4 has specialized support per game using its smart translation technology. Let's add a config for Ghosts. Prior to Zim 4, you would have to unplug your Zim from your console and plug it into a PC to add a game config. Now, you can do everything wirelessly without ever leaving the game. It's all done through an app called Zim 4 Manager. Here is Zim 4 Manager on my phone. When I run it, Manager notifies me that support for new games is available. Your Zim 4 will be updated frequently as new shooters are released. Let's download the update. Now Manager will connect to Zim 4. Since I don't have any games configured, it asks me to add one. I'll choose Ghosts and select Xbox One. Manager adds a Ghost config to my Zim 4 and loads the Heads Up display page. You can see at the top of the page the devices I have plugged into my Zim 4. The console, controller, mouse, and keyboard. There are various options at the bottom of the page. Edit the config, load a different config, create a new config, change config order or delete configs, and modify global settings. The HUD also gives you real-time status information. Now that I have my ghost config, I can use my mouse and keyboard. The default config binding for jump is the spacebar. When I press the spacebar, manager will display the key and what it is bound to. In this case, jump. Same for my mouse. You may have noticed that hip is displayed. Console shooters typically have different aiming behavior between hip aiming and aiming down sight. So, when I aim down sight, the config switches from its hip settings to ADS settings. Every gamer has different gaming preferences, such as sensitivity and button bindings. So, let's edit the config. When I press the edit button, I'm presented with my customization options. Here is the name of the config, an optional hotkey I can use to load the config, and the color of the config. Everything you change is updated immediately on your Zim 4. For example, here I'm changing the color of the config and you can see it change on the Zim 4. Zim 4 will flash white to let you know when it received a command from manager. Zim 4 is designed to consistently provide the highest quality mouse translation with minimal settings for every game you play. As you can see, there is only one setting for your mouse required, sensitivity. Simply adjust the setting to dial in your preferred aiming speed. For movement, 
I'm happy with the current keyboard settings. But I'd like to change Melee to use the back button on my mouse. It's as simple as pressing the binding for Melee, and then pressing the back button on my mouse. Let's move on to aim down sight settings. We want these settings to activate when I press my right mouse button. It's already set up for that. Prior to Zim 4, Zim 3 and Zim Edge only supported HIP and ADS settings within a config. Now, Zim 4 supports up to six different customizable config settings that can be used for additional aiming needs such as vehicles and turrets. In most cases, this is all you will need to get the feel you want. But Zim 4 has additional advanced settings for the most hardcore gamers that want even more detailed control over aiming behavior. This includes real-time ballistics curve editing to apply acceleration or deceleration characteristics. Plus other settings to further alter aiming behavior. When you game with Zim, you aren't limited to just a mouse and keyboard. Game pads like the Logitech G13 with the analog stick for movement is supported. Cross console gaming devices are supported too, such as the DualShock 4 and the Sony Move navigation controller in wireless mode. Combine the Move Nav and a wireless gaming mouse for a great way to game from your couch in your living room. I hope you enjoyed watching this first look at Zim 4 on Xbox One. For further information about the development of Zim 4, please visit our site. Thanks for watching.